Hey, hey, we are at this lovely stage of the project now when we are about to spray the walls. Um, but before we show you that in a series, let's go back and build those walls, those walls, and build up the floor. That's what the video is about today. So let's get on with it. My daughter insisted that she wanted to take part in the video, so I let her speak for a minute. Hi guys, I'm Safi. I don't know if you have seen my dad's previous video. If you did, you know that the walls are already built, but the floor build up process started after putting the foundation. We are breaking the existing concrete and removing around 400 millimeters of soil to create space to the build up. Thank you, darling. Right, where were we? So, lots of digging, messy and muddy job. We are using a grab lorry to take the mark away from the drive. It's cheaper than skips. After all it's gone, we are spreading some broken bricks and topping that up with type 1 hardcore, around 200 mm. All of that needs to be compressed down with the wacker plate and leveled with the laser. I have ordered a little bit too much of the hardcore, so we are chucking that outside of the extension where it will rest peacefully under the decking. Floor, the floor. Cool. So we've got um, the Type 1. It's, um, it's a lot of it. Um, the hardcore here yeah, is it's, it's a lot of it. Um, we're planning to just put about 100 mil, but in, in some places we'll go up to 300. Some less is 200. There's quite quite a lot of it. See all these little areas here as well. All of this is going to be concreted. So yeah, so that that is ready. The next stage is lying down, lying the um, layer of sand, about 40, 50 mil of sand, and that sand is only there to protect the membrane that goes on the DPM membrane from getting cut by those stones. Yeah, so here there's lots of stones. They're sharp edges, so the sand will protect the membrane from getting damaged. And on top of the sand. We will then um, spread the membrane and on top of the membrane we will then um, lay 120 mil thick Celotex insulation. Error. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. This is how we've done our previous job. In a minute I will explain the build up. I will show you a little drawing. For now, let's spread the sand. The first two layers of the floor are complete, which is the um, MOT hardcore, and we've got about 250 mil of that all over the place. And then we've got about 40 to 50 mil of um, sand. Let me quickly show you. So as you see, we've got the sand everywhere. Let's get the DPM on. We are overlapping the walls and overlapping the joint, at least one meter. Anywhere we have to cut the DPM around the corners, we add pieces on top with good overlap. The third layer will be the, the DPM. The meaning there is holding the DPM. It's done proving membrane. It's a very thick plastic. It will prevent the moisture rising from the floor to the um, subfloor. After the DPM, we're gonna um, concrete. We're gonna do about 100 mil. The whole layer, the, the whole build up is here. Yeah, so this is hardcore, sand, DPM, concrete insulation under for heating and screech that's the that's the um that's the build up that we're doing okay so now it's dpm and then tomorrow the lorry is coming and we're going to uh, pump the concrete We've laid the DPM 
So that, that is all ready and now we're going to prepare for pouring the concrete, the slab. Um, it's coming tomorrow, so uh, let me quickly explain what we're doing here. So, we've got, as you see, we've got the old VPM running, uh, it's shining, it's shining, it's hiding, hiding. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got the DPM laid everywhere. And um, I know the uh, professional um, concrete companies, they don't, they just set the laser and they, uh, they use straight edges and, and forks and all sorts of other tools to spread the concrete. We are not that experienced and we like our job to be done right. So what we're going to do, we're going to um, pull reinforcement bars, like three lines here. Yeah, like that. And then so we can have straight edge running on the bars to get this concrete nice and leveled. I like it to be to be all leveled. Um, so then the next layer, which is the king spam and the screed and all of that, falls onto nicely. Um, so we're going to use um, um, post screed, a few, few patches of post screed. We're going to set the reinforcement bars, bars with the laser on the floor, all leveled and then uh, we'll be able to run a stretch, straight edge on them. The pump will pump the concrete to our, to our locations. And that's, that's how we do it. it I, I found that method very easy. It takes us like three, four hours to, to set the bars. And then after that, it's, it's really easy. So yeah, that's just, I don't know. I've not seen anyone doing it like that. Um, my friends are doing it without the bars. They're just using the laser, but the concrete is a bit all over the place. I like my concrete to be flat. It's because the king spam, when it goes on it, um, it's just it's just solid and and it doesn't float. It's just nicely nicely installed. So yeah, we take a few extra hours to prepare for that. But once it's done, it's done. It will all make sense after after I finish. I'll show you the, show you what I meant. It didn't work. This was just my um, idea. In the past, I've done it with the wooden buttons, and then uh, as we were pouring concrete, I would pull them out. But um, this uh, reinforced bar, it didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> it's too small and uh, bent. And anyway, um, you leave it alone. The professional concrete um, community, if they see my video, they're gonna say call me amateur and all of that. But this is my uh, carpentry take because I'm a carpenter. Carpentry take on concreting. It has to be perfect. And um, since I'm not that experienced with concreting, I only concrete very rarely, but when I do, it's perfect. And that's how I do it. So um, instead of um, doing um, all the bars and stuff, we just got patches like that, which are reference points. They all in one level. We use, we use that Leica laser to do that. So I've got, as you see, lots of those little, little reference points. They're just sharp sand and cement, like a semi-mix, semi-wet mix. And they will nicely blend in. We're gonna get about 120 mil of um, um, 150, 120 mil of um, concrete slab here. Um, yeah. So look, it's it's just gonna be okay. <laughs> no no problem with that whatsoever. So yeah, tomorrow is a big day. Um, the the lorry and the pump coming, and we're going to pour it. That's it. After that, um, after the concrete is uh, dry. I'm gonna give give it a week. I'm gonna run some um, heating in here, let it all dry nicely, and we're gonna start creating the sandwich. The uh, 120 mil Celotex. Um, on top of that, underflow heating, and then um, 90 mil of um, fiber reinforced um, screed. It's always so exciting when there's a concrete lorry, lorry outside. There is that pressure because you know when the co concrete is poured. It's poured very quickly and there's a lot of hard work, a lot of sweating, a lot of stressing to get it all right. They just want to come here, dump it all, clean the gear and take the money and go. So, and we have to work really, really hard. And it's unfortunate, unfortunately, we are one man down. There's only two of us in here today because uh, one of the guys are not feeling very well. I think that's a bit uh, suspicious on a concrete day, not feeling very well, but anyway. We'll talk to him later, but it's just me and Adrian today. Um, and as you've seen in the previous clip, everything is ready. Um, and uh, all we've got is uh, pour the concrete. As usual, we're using iMix. iMix and, uh, and the pump, pump guys, pumps there, lorry there. We're gonna pump it all through here, straight in there. And that's it, happy days.
It's me again. My dad works very hard all day and at night. He makes these videos for you. So we'd greatly appreciate your support and you can show that by subscribing to a small channel. Thank you very much. Concrete dried nicely and it's time to lay down the 120mm Celotex. We are adding these extra pieces of dam protection around the perimeter. We are using the VCL, which is like the DPM, but for flat roofs. It's slightly thinner. This step is completely unnecessary, but both sides of our extension have the party wall, and I don't know how well it was built. So it's a little precaution for a peace of mind. The insulation needs to be scattered and taped with an aluminium tape. Once this is done, we can lay down the underflow heating pipes. So the third, well, it's actually fourth layer of the floor is now accomplished. We've got the 120 um, mm Celotex resting on the on the concrete slab. Uh, we've added on. Um, there was no need to uh, add this um, membrane. Um, around the perimeter because we already got the DPM underneath it but um, we've done it because I just don't like the um, the screed having direct contact with the wall there will be a there'll be a strip of foam as well for for, like, for expansion so I just um, just done as a little, little bit of an extra precaution but um, yeah, it wasn't a necessary thing we just started on the underfloor heating as well so we've placed the manifold here we've um, installed a piece of plasterboard we painted it white and um, it's, um, just starting on that now. Yeah, so it's all, it's all exciting, it's all exciting. We're getting there. Time for the final step of the floor layout is the, the screening and um, KP screening is here. KP screening here, they're setting up the gear. We uh, use the same company for, for years now. Let me quickly show you. So we've got all the underfloor heating done here nicely. That's the, that's the form that will go between the wall and the, and the, the screed. That's the bathroom. Yeah, there we go. It's all prepared. Then it's gonna come in and smash it. That's it. This is a very important step of the job because after the screening is done, we can then whack on all the plasterboards on the walls and you know start really finishing the job all the wiring all the plumbing everything is done now so we're going downhill
This is a very hard job, so credit to these boys. Their details are in the description if you need screening services. Right, it's all done now. In my next video, we will show you how to install a warm roof. Thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye for now.